I said, do you get nervous like talk like if, when you ever had to give a presentation? Do you did you get nervous? Because like I did. I don't I like. Usually, I don't like uh, talking to public. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I do pretty good public speaking, but I do get nervous and I start saying things really fast. And I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah. I was, but as for kicking it with KG, I was thinking about what would it be like if I just changed the name to like the KG podcast, because like kicking it with KG. I mean, if you if you if they watch the show, they're gonna know what kicking their kicking their KG is or whatever you want to call it. How about it. this? How about you do yeah. like? How about you change it to like a word and then either with KG or with Kendall Gray? Because you know, uh, like impulsive <laughs> with Logan Paul. Yeah. Like something like that. Just come up with like a clever word. What are your. I think I've listened to like one of your podcasts. What are they usually about? Just anything? Uh, yeah. I'm going to try to get into more interview type stuff, like actual people. I've done some where it's just me and my buddy and we just kind of do random stuff, but I need to get more people. And plus, if we can figure out, if I can figure out how to do this uh, online, uh, local, not anti-local, whatever you want to call this, remote, yeah. that'll open up a lot of people. Yeah, it would. And I mean, if we can figure it out how to where the quality is pretty much just pretty good. I mean, my all camera, right, your all right. camera. We need, we need to be good. talking about this on the podcast. We're on the podcast. This guy is Ryan Larkins. If you, I don't know how to introduce him, but I'll just say this. He used to edit for Braden Price. And he edits for me, and now he edits for Flair. So, uh, he's an editor. Okay, that's his thing. Would you say that's right? Uh, and I'm a weirdo. Okay, that, that's does that count too? <laughs> yeah, that counts. It, Ryan, where are you at right now? Let's start off with that. I'm at school. I'm at school. I live in Alabama. Um. And yeah, that's I'm I'm nervous, dude. Not gonna lie, get getting a little nervous, getting you got get, little getting butterflies. the butterflies a little. Yeah, I got a Is little. Is this butterflies. your first podcast? Yeah, dude. I've always watched first? them. I've always watched them on uh, or watched them. I've always listened to them, and I've always wanted yeah. to come on one. So this is my first one. Yeah, that's how I was too. No one would ever invite me on a podcast, so I just decided <laughs> to start my own. And now here we are, episode seventeen or something like that. Dude, I uh, I looked on I looked <clears> on Spotify <throat> to see when's the last time you posted, and it was like. October or something. What happened? Yeah, it's it's been a it's been a long time. I don't really know what did happen. Yeah, I'm asking you. <laughs> That's a good question, man. I don't know. I just kind of dropped off, but we are trying to get back into it. We just this is the second episode back, so that's good. We're getting back in the back in the swing of things. But uh, I guess since we're just diving on into whatever, you edit for a lot of people. What made you start editing in the first place? How old was you, and like, what'd you start on, and why? Because so, I don't know this at all. Yeah, okay. So I started making videos back in eighth grade, I think. Yeah. Um, my cousin used to make videos and I always he didn't he didn't like get super into it. He just he would bring his GoPro when we went to the beach and stuff and mm -hmm. make these cool little little edits mm -hmm. and I was like, it's pretty cool. So then I uh took my parents' camera that they had, started making videos, and uh yeah, ever since then it kind of just spiraled out of control, honestly. So did you say that was your cousin? Yeah. Did he know how to edit too? He did. He doesn't now. Um, yeah. He, he forgot. He's already, he's already graduated, got a full-time job. But no, he would just use like, I think it was Windows Movie Maker or one of those yeah. free ones just to put videos together and and uh, just make little short hype videos. And I always thought it was the coolest thing because it would like grab my emotions, you know, like it would. Yeah. It was, I, I, you know, I think it was super cool and, and, you know, so it just kind of went from there. You was probably watching a lot of YouTube at that time too, wasn't you? Yeah. And you know, it's funny. I don't really watch YouTube anymore. You don't? No, dude. Hit the th All right. How real can we get on this podcast? You can get real. I don't care. It's all fake. Oh, YouTube's fake? Yeah. Yeah. It depends since, on what you watch, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it depends on what you watch, but a lot of it is fake. And you know what's funny is I actually watch a lot of Netflix, but the difference is I know it's going to be fake. Whereas people yeah, on that's YouTube, true. You, people on YouTube are trying to act real and it's just fake. So yeah, like a lot of vloggers too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just and I kind of just lost interest too. It wasn't just because of that. I just I don't know. I just don't really watch it anymore. Yeah, what I've noticed, I used to watch outdoor YouTube like a ton. Like I just hunting, fishing, YouTube, all that. I used to watch it, 
Then after I started actually making videos, I stopped watching outdoor yeah. YouTube and just started watching non-hunting related, just normal YouTube, yeah. whatever you want to call that. I don't know. I mean, sometimes I'll go on and watch a hunting video, but it's pretty rare, honestly. You know what's funny is a lot of times I like I like learning. Here's yeah. here's the funny thing. Learning <laughs> is awful when you're forced to, but when mm, you that's want true. To, yeah, when you want to learn, it's a lot of fun. So I'll like I'll go on YouTube and and watch, you know, hi history stuff and and uh have you ever heard of Vox? Yeah. Yeah, I watch I've been watching a lot of Vox recently cuz I don't know. It just interests me. Like I like learning about fun topics like that, but when it's for, I dude, I hate school. I, when it's forced upon me, it sucks, but you know, you got to do it. Dude, that's actually really true. Like I have a, I'm also in college for you guys who don't know. I'm, I'm a junior, I think. And I'm that's sophomore. how, that's about how much I care because uh, I don't even know what grade I'm in, <laughs> but I just do enough to get by. I have passing grades, but I mean, I don't feel like I really learn anything there, yeah. and I don't, and I don't feel like I learn anything because I don't want to learn anything there because I don't want to be there. But whenever I learn something different, whenever I'm trying to learn something that I actually care about, like how to podcast virtually, which is apparently a task and a half, I actually get in there and I like learning that stuff. Yeah, it's fun. Um, what about what are you majoring in, by the way? Creative media, so videos. Oh, that's well, that's actually. Do you like learning about that? So, okay. The funny thing is I can count on my, on my fingers, the amount of things I've learned since being here for two years. Cause I kind of already knew all of it. Right. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate going to my major classes. Um, mm -hmm. I do hate going to my core classes. Cause that's not like, dude. All right. Get this. I'm in geology. I'm learning about yeah. rocks. What does rocks have to do with, making videos it I, and i just go and i'm like there's no point in me even being here like i just want I, I i'm making videos why do yeah, i need to be I mean, studying rocks dude literally here's the thing i'm just gonna spoiler alert i think i've already said it you're editing for a lot of youtubers you're editing for me you're editing for flair you're editing for i think some other people you're learning way more about video creation and editing by just doing it already yep. instead of school yep even and, the things that you do learn in school, you're still probably, you already know it because you've been editing for so many other different people. Yeah, and like I said, when I go to my major classes and we make videos in there, I don't really mind it. Like, it's it's not, it's not that yeah. I, it's not that I hate being there. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I could be doing a lot better stuff with my time, but I yeah. go and I'm like, you know, today I could learn something new because my freshman year, I did learn a couple good bits about photos because I was always mainly a video guy, so. I did yeah, learn yeah. learn quite a bit about photos my first year. So, there, like I said, there's there's been a couple of core things that I've learned, but other mm -hmm. than that, I kind of just go and sit there and listen to the lecture and go home and make YouTube videos. So, have you ever taken like a course of a uh, editing or anything like that? Non college? Nope. YouTube. I mean, I guess I guess yeah. that could be a course. Um, and you know, I tell I told I was telling my classmate about this the other day. Um, and it's just what you said too, about how actually, actually going and editing, actually going and shooting, you're mm -hmm. learning a lot more than you mm -hmm. are than, you know, just by sitting in a lecture, because let's say I'm editing a video and I want to learn how to zoom in on Kendall's face. And let's yeah. say I don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, I can type in into YouTube, how to zoom in on, you know, Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, mm -hmm. whatever you watch that four minute video, boom. You learned something. You know it. Yeah. Not only did you learn something, but to create the video you looked it up for initially, you went and practiced it too. Yeah. And you're probably not going to forget it. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's, that's the majority of my skill set is just learning, learning that stuff on YouTube. And, and a lot, a lot of times too, dude, it's, you can teach, you can only teach people so many certain things. Like I have a guy who works for me who helps yeah. me with your videos because recently I've been busy with flair and mm -hmm he's he's getting to the point now where he's getting pretty good but for the longest yeah. time he would struggle with the flow of the video mm -hmm. and he would he would sometimes let um let your odd when you're talking he would cut you off sometimes or let it go too long and he's get, like i said I've, I've i've worked with him and he's getting good now but when he yeah. first started a lot of times it's hard to teach people a flow of a video yeah, like you could do all the fundamental teaching you want to. That takes practice. Yeah, like you have to yeah. be editing videos to really figure out how 
wind space and cuts all that it's, stuff yeah, happens. exactly yeah and with editing kind of being like a art in a way literally every editor is different and mm -hmm. just because they're different does not mean that one's right and one's wrong like yeah. they're both right they're just and, different styles yeah and one thing that i always i always uh, i always preach to people yeah. about me when i'm getting a when i'm getting a new client and mm -hmm. i think i told this to you too when when we first started you know did my did my camera just move i don't know it did um <laughs> well this is one thing i i told to you <laughs> Um, back when, uh, back when I, uh, first hit you up or Braden, I yeah. think Braden gave me your number, right? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, anyways, I was, I would tell you that one of my strongest skill sets as an editor is the fact that mm -hmm. I can adapt to each person's style. So like, for instance, yeah. I'm going to give you three examples. Mm -hmm. Braden Price likes his videos super fast, lots of music, cool hype videos, whatever. And they're, yeah. they're pretty hard to edit. I'm not going to lie. They kind of suck to edit. But that's how he likes his videos. You're, I haven't edited a main channel video for you in a long time. But your gaming videos are always uh, intro with the, with the short rock song. And then you like yours fast, upbeat, get to the point. You know, you, you get goofy. You, you know, yeah, goofy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Flair likes his videos. He likes them sort of fast. But he likes his to have spacing in order to show what they're doing. So, like, for yeah, instance, yeah. the other day, um, I was editing a video where they were moving the feeder for his animals. Mm -hmm. And for you, for the gaming video, most of the whole video is you talking. Yeah. Whereas Flair's videos are, he'll talk about what he's doing, and then he'll show him doing it. Yeah. So that's one thing that I think is one of my strong suits is I can I can go and make a Braden Price video and make it look like a Braden Price video. I can mm -hmm. go and make a KG gaming video or a Kendall Gray video and I can make it look like either of those and I can hop on Flair's videos and make it look like nothing's ever changed. So that's one thing that probably one of my strongest skill sets um is the uh, ability to adapt and that's one thing that's one thing why I think I've been hired by so many successful YouTubers as well. And yeah, because I think Flair said he had a ton of people in his emails. Mm -hmm. Um, and I guess the video I made was, was the closest to what he was looking for. So what is, how did that work? How did you get up with Flair? So I know right, from what I've seen, he was, he's ha having trouble finding editors and he's. Yeah. Well that, yeah. you know, the whole thing between the two guys that were out there living with yeah. him went down. Um, I think he he did a whole podcast on that with, yeah, not not Lunkers. It was, I think it was Lojo. Lojo. Yeah, Lojo. Um, but it was the same thing. Braden introduced me to him, um, and sent me his contact. And this was back mm -hmm. in either early December or late November. Can't remember. So it was a long time ago. And uh, he sent me his contact and said, "Flares two editors or video guys or whatever just dropped." And uh, he needs someone to make videos. So I texted him. We hopped on a phone call. We talked for about an hour. And uh, I'm, I told him the same thing I'm telling you about how, you know, I can adapt. Yeah. And, you know, I'm pretty good at what I do, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. And then he asked me to edit two videos um, that were, like, the actual edits, like, hype. The, like, how do I, the cinematic montage parts of the videos. He asked me to edit two of those. And then I guess he asked everybody else to do that as well. Yeah. And then he watched them and then I didn't hear back from him for a while. Hmm. And then I eventually reached back out and said, if you want me to edit another one, I'm still here. And he said, uh, yeah, I want you to edit a mock or not a mock-up. I want you to edit, uh, this video that's already been posted and try hmm. and make it look as close to that hmm. video as possible. And I think I actually made it quicker. Like I made faster cuts on it. I, I don't know if he likes mm -hmm. that or not, but that's just that's just yeah. my my natural style is to make faster cuts. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know why. That's just I guess editing for you and Braden. That's just my style. I just like to do it faster. Um, yeah. So I did that, and then I you know I tried to make it as close to the posted video as possible. Mm -hmm. And it was pre I mean it was pretty close. Um, it was a little little shorter. Um, but he liked it and I texted him back, said, you know, what's the plan? And he said, I'm going with you and one other guy. So, yep. 
And then Pool Jet too. Pool Jet's still working for him. So it's me. He sent me a text. I can't remember. I think it's me, another guy, and Pool Jet working on his main YouTube channel. So editing, editing and stuff. Yeah, Pool Jet. I think Pool Jet's filming. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know all the details. Um, yeah. but I'm doing one to two videos a week, which is not that much. But yeah. considering it's a 30, 40, 50 minute video, mm-hmm. it's I don't have much more time to do any more along with doing three videos a week for you as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let me let me say this. Uh, let me ask this. Let's say Flare finished product, 40 minute video. How many how many hours or minutes of footage total is that? I don't know. Good question. I can tell you how long it takes me to edit them. It's probably, it takes me about eight-ish hours to edit one of his videos. And, okay, here's the thing. I edit really slow. <laughs> it shocked me, dude. I was like, what? Eight hours? That's a ton, ain't it? Well, okay. Yes, what's it a game is. In, what's a, what does a KG game in, game in video run? Well, here's the thing. I send them to Ben, and then he edits yeah. them, and then I just go over it and do the thumbnail. So it only takes me... Maybe an back, hour to. What about back whenever you uh, edit a full one? How long average? Because we three. try to do thirty minutes of footage max. Yeah. Total footage. Two or three. Okay. So. Yeah, but now it's a lot shorter, and I uh, do. Yeah. I've, yeah. One reason it takes me so long, and if you ask Flair how long it'll take to edit one of his videos, he'll tell you two or three hours, maybe four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The reason it takes me so long is because I have a bad problem with procrastinating. An awful problem. Like, dude, if I don't want to edit, I will literally sit at my desk and scroll through TikTok <laughs> with the videos sitting in Premiere. Like, I'm like, all right, I'm going to edit. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to knock it out. And if I'm just not motivated, mm. I'll just sit and watch TikTok. It's an awful habit. It's an awful habit. Maybe you habit. should just delete TikTok. Maybe I should just <laughs> throw away my phone, dude. Throw it out maybe. the window. Maybe you should. It sounds like it may be a good, good Dude, idea for you. Even like know. even my projects and homework papers, essays, whatever, I am a bad procrastinator. Like it's, I don't know. Maybe I need like Adderall or something. Maybe I have ADHD. How 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 many hours a week are you uh, putting up to school? I don't know. I'm taking 13 hours, I think. What are you taking? You know how long it took me to do... This week's schoolwork, it's like a full load, but it's all online. So you know how long it took me to do it? Two hours. Five. Minutes. <laughs> I got it down, dude. I can do this online school. Five minutes? Yeah, dude. Oh, On a hard my. week, it's like I wish I was 40, online. 40 minutes max for a week of work. Yeah. I, but I it's I business online. class, so it's whatever you want. It's not that difficult. You're taking business classes even though you already own a business? Very similar to you, man. I'm not, I don't really feel like I'm learning that much. Good point. I don't, I really don't feel like I'm learning a ton. I mean, dude, I don't, between me and you and everybody watching, I don't really have a good reason why I'm in college, but (laughs) I'm just just doing it so my mom won't get mad. That's Well, you're a junior too. You have. Yeah, what, the second semester, so you have one more year left, so might as well. Yeah, and if I really want to, which I, I don't really care if I do or not, I can probably graduate at Christmas. Ooh, okay. Ooh, we got, we got, we got a smarty pants over here. Apparently, two hours put in five minutes this week. Hard work, yeah. hard labor. Yeah, it'd probably take me five hours to do it because I'd watch TikTok the whole time. <laughs> yeah, dude, what time you wake up? Let me ask you this: What time you wake up, Ryan? At Today I woke up at 10, 15, because I had class at 11, but usually, usually past lunch. Like if Bruh. I, it's bad, dude. I do not, I'm a, I'm a bad role model for, uh, for what, what do you call it? Uh, lifestyle. I guess. I, I don't, I don't, whatever you call, whatever you call that, I'm a bad role model for it. Cause I wake up late. I eat bad. You, you, I mean, you could tell. What time you go to bed? Last night I went to bed at three. <laughs> My goodness, dude! I tried to go to bed at ten, and last night I, it was like ten forty, and I was like, "Oh, wait, I need to ask Ryan if he can do it." I was like, 
He may not be awake. <laughs> no, I, dude, I'm always awake. Directly back. I was like, oh, he's awake. Dude, you know what's crazy I, though is, yeah. is I, I, okay, I have to sleep. Okay, I cannot. Mm. And the what I'm going into is that Miller told me that a lot of times he will stay up till four or five in the morning editing videos, and then go to work at nine. And I'm like, four hours yeah. sleep. And he, you know what he told me after that? I said. How do you do that? Like I, I have to get sleep or else I cannot do anything. And he said, yeah. I actually function better without sleep. He said, I get cranky when I get too much sleep. And I, I, don't. I was like, You got you you got a gift, man. I was <laughs> I was like, I could not do that at all. Man, like I, I have to sleep. Yeah. I gotta sleep too. If I don't get my sleep, I start getting cranky. Yeah. And my eyes just start closing. I'm like, this ain't <laughs> like dude right here i don't know if i didn't get enough sleep or something last night no i actually slept good but i about fell asleep right here before the podcast but yeah can you take naps it depends it depends how I tired take i am a nap to save my life dude. if i'm if i'm tired like if i'm if i didn't if i stayed up all night then yes i i, I kind of contradicted I myself i kind of contradicted myself where i said I almost fell asleep but the thing is like i can feel tired then as soon as I actually try to sleep, I wake straight up. Yeah, me too. That happens yeah, at same. night too. Yeah. That's why I go to sleep at three in the morning. I lay down like, I'll, and I'm not tired. Yeah. I'll lay down at 10 to like, if I could, if perfect world, I'd lay down at 10, go to bed at 10, but I have to lay down at 10, go to sleep at like 11. Yeah. And I'm not That's on my phone. I'm just laying there in the bed. Yeah. Trying same to go me. to sleep. Actually, I'm not trying to, I am trying to go to sleep, but I sit down and I'll start thinking about everything. Thinking about, what if aliens, uh, well, would I be able to fight them? Stuff like that. What if aliens? I got kidnapped? Yeah. You ever seen Monsters vs. Aliens? Uh, I don't think so. It's that, the animated one. I, I, I've seen it like once. I just, the first thing that came to my mind, honestly. Last night, I was thinking about this podcast saying, how in the world are we going to get it to work? Dude, I, I, I was up last night kind of, I'm still nervous, dude. I'm bad at like speaking. I'm not no. good at it. You're good at editing, though. Yeah, I guess that's I guess <laughs> that's what matters. Editing. Don't be, public, don't be a public speaker. <laughs> uh, Who was the first big person that you edited for? Was Braden. it Braden? Yeah, it was Braden. Uh, how did that work out? I mean, how so, did it start? Yeah, so I was sophomore in high school. It was 2018, and I had been just make it like I made hype videos for my school. I, mm. I yeah, I I used to just film stuff for fun. Um. And then I used to actually, you know, what's funny is way back in the day when Braden used to post his Larry videos that yeah. what, what blew him up pretty much. I used to watch him, you know, go harass Larry on YouTube <laughs> when I was like young, like 13, 14 years old. And yeah. that's, that's how I found out who, who he was subscribed mm -hmm. to him. And then I really didn't watch much after that, mm -hmm. but Around the time when uh, I started editing for him is when he like really started to pick up content and like make good thumbnails, make YouTube videos, uh, make good videos. It was when I started to watch him on YouTube, uh, mm -hmm. and I followed him on Instagram. And he posts on Instagram saying he's looking for someone to edit because I think before me, he, oh wait, no, I think there was one more guy before me, but I don't think mm -hmm. he was any good. But Brayden used to edit his own videos. Yeah, and I think he's actually editing some now. He actually learned how mm. to use Adobe Premiere, which really surprised me because he absolutely hated it, which is why he hired me. So that's how wow. he, yeah, he posts on Instagram. I DM'd him, and then you know we traded phones. He used to have a Samsung. That was super weird, you know, the text show up green. Um, and yeah, that's it. Went from there. I think I used to go to school, come home, make a video, go to sleep. And do the same thing the next day. Dude, I remember the I remember the daily grind. Yeah. I'd wake up. Here's what I'd do. Crazy. I couldn't do it now if I wanted to. Listen to this. Unbelievable. I don't know what happened. Maybe, maybe I'm exaggerating. I don't know. But I'd wake up at 6, dude. I'd wake up at 6. Get online. Do the store. Because I was doing a lot of merch. I'd figure out stuff. Design stuff. Order stuff. And then fix the store up, so kindlegrade1.com. I'd fix all that. Then I'd go to school. I'd do pretty much all kinds of stuff during school, too, because it wasn't, like, extremely hard. 
And so I'd do stuff like that all through school. Then whenever I got out of school, I would go home. Man, during the daily stuff, I guess I filmed daily. Did you go and, daily? Yeah, I went daily for like almost a year or more. Wow. Yeah, it's really? pretty... Yeah, and they were like, I don't remember that. They were like, uh, they were like four to twelve minute videos, probably the average being like eight to ten. So nothing too crazy. Yeah, it was way back in the day too. But I'd come home. I think I'd film the video during daylight, and since school is usually in the winter stuff, it gets dark early. Once it got dark, I'd come inside and edit it. Dude, I'm okay. I'm a horrible storyteller for one, so. People who are watching li- watching or listening to this podcast, I apologize. But it's crazy because, like, we could sit here and talk about this all day because I, I have a fun little story. When when Fortnite was a thing a oh, long time Fortnite. ago, me and Braden used to stream Fortnite. <coughs> and we'd play Fortnite together and just go and play duos or squads or whatever it was. And I remember Braden, like, way back, like, when I first started working for him, this is probably 20 i think i said late 2018 so it'd probably be early 2019 he was like have you ever heard of kendall gray we were playing fortnite dude like i was like i was like shooting at a bad guy have you ever heard of kendall gray and i was like no i actually <clears throat> haven't and he was like he's like dude he like he's making a bunch of videos for one but he said he deleted instagram did you do that no you never deleted instagram I don't think so. Okay, well, Braden said Braden said that you deleted Instagram to not have the distraction of it, so you could pump out more videos. I don't think so. Did he wonder where Braden, he got did, that from? Braden, though. did you lie to me? He probably just he probably didn't know what he's talking about. Probably not. But I remember <laughs> he's he actually said he looked up to you for your amount of uh, determination and motivation to to pump out videos. So, Had he met me yet, or talked to me yet? I I don't remember. It was a long time ago. But he it was he said you delete, ago. or maybe it was Snapchat. Maybe he said you deleted Snapchat or something. I can't remember. Maybe it was. I don't know. That's crazy oh though. oh, you, dude, you know something crazy? What? I I had a friend that went to your high school. Who? Wait, yeah, you did. Who was it? His name was Jake Fisher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he said uh, we used to play Xbox together. Yeah, I remember him telling world. me that. He said he crazy. said he said they used to play your videos on the in the lunchroom. Dude, my school was my Were you popular? Uh was K, was by KG default. the Okay, by, by default. default. Yeah, Cuz you yeah. had a big YouTube channel? Okay. Yeah. So you were like the, the principal had a KG lanyard. Oh, oh, okay. Did you pretty ever get cool. in any trouble? No, I never really got in any trouble and yeah, I was pretty I much friends either. with everybody, so that's probably why yeah. I never caused any problems, so yeah. that's probably why yeah, People I was like the same way. My, he made popular. Yeah, I had a, I was kind of friends with everyone, and then I just had my close little circle. Yeah, I was friends with everybody, uh, enemies with literally nobody. Yeah, same. The people was, who wouldn't talk good. to anybody, huh? I said it was great. Like I just. Oh yeah. People, dude, there would be like a couple fist fights at my school, and I'm, I'm just like, I'm like friends with with everybody. So like, I, I don't, I don't have to worry about getting bullied or getting in a fist fight. Cause I'm, I'm just like, I don't know. Everybody liked me. Yeah. There was some guy messing with me, like as a joke. And then some kids heard it behind me and they came and stepped in and tried to stop him. I was like, Hey man, he's just kidding. Dang. It's pretty cool. I really liked high school. Uh, I, don't I know. actually really liked it. No one else I ever talked to did. But now I that, liked it. It now was pretty I, chill. Yeah. Now that I look back at it, it was, it was easy. Like I used to think it was, I used to think it was so hard to go home and do a math problem and now it's i don't know it, i don't know it just used to be a lot simpler go to school yeah hang out with your I friends think you did homework. Joke in class yeah yeah i, I, I might have might have paid a couple people to do my math homework whenever you uh move. whenever you start editing for Braden, did you do it at all remotely or did you move to his yeah, place it was no it was all remote oh, i was in high all school. of it yeah oh and then you did visit him some yeah um yeah. Because back then, his videos weren't as long as they are now, so it'd be his little G7X, and it'd be, you know, a couple gigabytes of footage, and I'd make a 10-minute yeah. video when I got home from school, so it wasn't nearly as complex as it is now. Yeah. 
Yeah, now he's but, got like what? What's a video for him edited now? Like sixteen GoPros? Dude, one time this was recent. This was I edited a video with Braden, 3D mm-hmm. Machines, Christian, and Dylan riding pit bikes. And <laughs> it was pain. That's the only thing I can say is it was pain because you know they have them all running at once and they're all talking over each other when they're separated because they go and play pit bike tag. Mm-hmm. And it was awful. There's it was, a lot that goes into that. Yes. And for whoever edits Braden's pit bike videos, props to you, dude. Christian used to be Miller. I I did that one video and I was like, nah, dude, I'm out. <laughs> and that was recent. That was probably <laughs> Six months ago, I think. So that was pretty recent, and I was like, "Oh, oh yeah, I'm out on that one." He paid me good, but I was like, "I was like, no, dude, this is so." Because I mean, think about it. You have to, you have all four of them playing at once. They're all talking mm-hmm. over each other, so you pretty much have to listen to what, like a minute of one, and then do a minute of the other, then a minute of the other, unless they're not talking over each other. But usually they are. So it's yeah, dude, it's. And then on top of that, you also have the two other cameras. And yeah, it was Brayden's videos are a lot are a lot of work, but they do come out really entertaining. So yeah, that's true. Well, how, who who else have you edited for? Okay, so it was Brayden first, mm-hmm. and then I edited for Brayden until I graduated, and then I was I didn't have a job at that point. Um. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, Miller came Miller came in and lived with yeah. him and, you know, because I was pretty much not needed at that point. Um, mm-hmm. So then I found a guy named uh, Darian is fishing. Uh, mm-hmm. He has about 40,000 subscribers, I think. Um, and so he actually lived here and I worked for him for. I don't know, probably a year or so. Yeah. Um, so he was local. Yeah, he was local, and we'd go out and film videos, and sometimes he'd film his own videos and then give them to me. Uh-huh. Uh, I'd just download them on my hard drive, yeah. um, and that was a lot of fun. He actually made – he doesn't really do YouTube anymore. Mm-hmm. He he actually started up a company making sweet tea. It's called Y'all Sweet Tea. It's very good. Trust me, I'm, I don't, I'm not getting paid, to, getting paid to say it, but it's very good, and it, he just started the company – in june of 2020 i think something like that mm-hmm. so it's a it's a brand new company and he's doing really well right now so it's it you know there's really no need to make youtube videos anymore for him so right he moved away from that then i started working for you and i can't remember if i worked for darian mm-hmm. and you at the same time i i don't know it all mixes together these days but i started working yeah. for you and um i did your main channel videos and then yeah. um then do was there a break? I can't uh, remember. Well, we Why are we doing your gaming videos? Yeah, I think we went the main channel for like a couple, couple or a few months or like a quarter or something like that. A pretty good amount of time. Then I started the gaming channel and I was like, oh, this gaming channel is pretty fun. Yeah. And then it got to where it's like, you know, I can edit them pretty quick because, you know, whenever you film it, it's a lot quicker to edit. Oh, yeah. 100%. So I could edit them in like maybe an 30 minutes of footage in an hour which is pretty quick but i was like it's still an hour yeah and uh it's, you know kind of hour i don't necessarily have the best plus i wanted to give it someone who was better at editing overall so i was like ryan what if you switch over from the uh main channel over to the gaming channel because there's gonna be a lot more videos for one they're gonna be more consistent because at that time dude the, the main channel was well, he's kind of going downhill. <laughs> <laughs> we well, are running out of stuff. We had a hard time life, right dog. there. <laughs> we wasn't posting much. But anyways, the gaming channel was taking off. I was like, Ryan, bro, can you take care of this? He was like, absolutely. <laughs> and then he did. <laughs> and so pretty much every video you've seen on the gaming channel, except for the maybe the first 10, 20 or something, has been in relation to Ryan. Whether Ryan edited them or kind of whatever you want to say about that. But I was in a couple of them, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, Those were bangers, the gaming, dude. The gaming videos with Ryan, they're banker, dude. They are and when bangers. It, we need to start us up a Discord, for real, yeah. so that we can pull in fans. I'm down. 
Let's do it. I, I mean, I don't have much time, but I'm down. Oh, we'll do it. We'll take care of that. Dude, do you remember when uh when we went and fought that Oh, this Kid? might be controversial. This might be controversial. This is this oh, might be yeah, a that... controversial part. That Russian guy? There was well, a we call we call we called him Russian. I, I, I mean, he was speaking actually. Russian or something. Yeah, he was he was speaking some other some other language. Anyways, there's dude. a Russian guy in Hunter Call the Wild, and uh, we we messed him up, much dude. Made him rage quit. He oh, literally yeah. rage quit. Yeah, he did. We messed him up. Ukraine would be proud. <laughs> this is right, a what, outdated. What were we talking about? Uh, what, what well, who we I worked about? for? Yeah, who you worked for? Then you went to me for the gaming channel, and then who else? Yeah, because I yeah. And then Flair. And Didn't you edit for like up. a Garrett at all? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've, I used to make... Uh, back when Garrett really didn't make that many videos, he's he's doing more now because he, uh, yeah. he used to be in the Air Force and he got out and now mm -hmm. he's doing YouTube full-time. Um, but back when he would make videos every now and then, he would send them to me. Um, you know, he didn't pay me a bunch, but that's not why I edited them. Um, and he would send them to me. And his videos are short, too. So it, it wasn't like... Yeah. It wasn't like it was super hard to do. And then, uh, yeah, I'd cook them up, and then he'd make a little thumbnail and post them. And, but now he's out of the Air Force, and he's making videos of Braden, and he's doing really well. And I'm, I'm actually I'm proud of him because, you know, going from, like, having a job like that to going to mm -hmm. a YouTuber is a big, <laughs> like, risk. And he figured out a way to, to pull in views, and he, he's – definitely making more now than he was so mm -hmm. happy for him doing that but yeah and then now now we got the thing with flair and and i made my first video i sent it to him last week i think yeah sending me more on wednesday so, okay so you've edited one video that's going to be published for flair uh i think so yeah I, I sent him the video and then he told me it was fire so i i guess <laughs> <laughs> what about uh thumbnails uh, I don't do his thumbnails, no, because he does okay. he does the same, pretty much the same thumbnail every time. Yeah, um, good, good but I, format. I do I do your thumbnails, so that's fun. Yeah, I he actually, does. Dude, I like making thumbnails. I'm not gonna lie, it's it's a change up that I enjoy because when you edit a video for a couple hours, it gets a little yeah. boring, and then once you're like, oh, now nah, it's like a, it's like fresh air. Yeah, because you, know, you can sit there, you can thumbnail. play some music while you edit yeah, the thumbnail, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, dude, I cannot edit. I've, dude, people have told me they can edit videos and watch Netflix at the same time. I'm like, you're lucky. I, I can't. They probably miss a lot. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, they have to, right? I I cannot do it. I can't listen to two people talking at one time. Can't yeah. do it. I used to uh, be able to listen to music and edit at the same time. But, I mean, I'd be on, like, autopilot. I'd be, like, half asleep editing. And I filmed it, so I knew what I was editing, so that helped a lot, I guess. What about your channel? Um, yeah, so I I used to make videos every week. Recently, mm -hmm. with the whole flare thing going on, I mm -hmm. it's been a probably three weeks since I posted a video. Mm -hmm. Um, but I my I I edit outdoor stuff, you know, flare, you, Braden, all that stuff. Yeah. But uh, I love cars and dirt bikes. Those are like those are like my two main hobbies. And they're very expensive. It sucks. Yeah. They're very expensive. But I just, I would go and, you know, vlog whatever I'm doing, whether that be riding dirt bikes or taking my car to the track or going to the Dragon. Me and Miller have been to the Dragon a bunch of times. That's a, for those of you who don't know, the Dragon is yeah. a very famous road on the state line of Tennessee and North Carolina. Mm. And there is 300 and 18 corners i think and 11 miles so it's you know every every couple of feet you're taking a turn well not a couple of feet every i don't know couple of it's yeah yeah you get the point it's you know it's a very very curvy road and we'd go and cruise it have fun what kind of car do you have i have a 2016 scion frs a lot of people ask me what it is a lot of people also ask me if it's a supra I had today I was in the parking lot and some guy walked up and was like, is that the new Supra? I was like, I wish it's a lot cheaper. Uh, but no, it's just a, it's a, it's a little Japanese sports car. Um, Scion was a, uh, lower brand of Toyota. 
mm-hmm. and they went out of business. But um, mm-hmm. it's fun. It's a, uh, it's not very fast, like in a straight line. Yeah. But it, it can it can carve corners, dude. Like I'll if I go to the track, and I drive a whole day, um, like the next day I will be so sore, dude. Like it feels like I got hit by a dump truck because you're mm-hmm. just corner after corner. You're just pulling those, you know, one or two G's. Probably not two. That's a lot. But you're just, you know, you just, I'm like, I'm just holding on for dear life going through the corners. Um, but yeah, dude, it's fun. I, uh, dream car is a Corvette. Really? Yeah. Big Corvette what guy. Kind? I want a C6 Z06. They're old, but I think the older generation Corvettes look amazing. Mm-hmm. So I don't know is, anything about cars. Yeah. Well, I don't know anything about hunting, so. <laughs> yeah hey i'd say honestly i bet you've learned a ton over editing Dude, outdoor videos. you know what's funny too is i've killed one deer in my life and it was with Braden, and yeah. it's actually on youtube if you guys want to go watch it i think it was i took my editor deer hunting or something it uh-huh. was a couple of years ago um but when he would make deer hunting videos back when i would edit them like i didn't know anything about deer hunting i've i've been duck yeah. hunting sometimes um mm-hmm. i actually really enjoy duck hunting um but i had never deer hunted and through editing his videos when he took me, the like probably 30 minutes after we got in the stand, there was a deer walking up and it was just shooting light. And he was like, do you know where to place it? Because we were, we were looking out and I had the rifle. And he was asking me if I knew where to place it. And I was like, yeah, dude, scope cam. I know exactly where to place it. <laughs> so it's funny. I, like, I wouldn't have known unless he, unless he used scope cam where to place the bullet on the deer. And I smoked it double lung, dude. That thing yeah, didn't dude. go 20. I know, big go, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was. That was fun, dude. That was a fun. Yeah, that's, dude. It's a it's an adrenaline rush after you shoot a deer. Like I, I was shaking from adrenaline. Yeah, dude. Dude, it's crazy. I like hunting, but man, North Carolina's got some good laws for hunting deer. Yeah. Where here it's way harder, man. Just really? the limits. Yeah. Mm. You only get to kill two deer max in my area. Per a oh a year, that's crazy. That's very low. Oh. It's like the lowest ever, pretty what's, much. What's North Carolina's? I think they get like more than ten. Wow, I did some not states, know that. Some states have unlimited does. Dude, wow. literally, I'm in Eastern Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Western Kentucky kills unlimited does. We get one. <laughs> what? Why? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I guess they have more deer out there, but at the same time, I don't actually know if they do or not. It's kind of dumb. I don't know, man. Ah, I don't know. It's pretty fun. What kind of upcoming projects you got? You got anything cooking in the, in the lab? Other than. Been in the studio? SoundCloud? (laughs) Been in the cut? (laughs) Um, it's SoundCloud. (laughs) (laughs) No, dude, I've never, never made the sound clap but um other th- other than doing flares thing not currently um mm-hmm. i actually talked to Braden the other day he said uh he said he might need some help come summertime um yeah. and i told him as soon as school gets out i'm down to help him out making some videos and doing whatever so might uh might might be doing some things with him here in the future i uh when he did his outlander review uh, not review yeah. reveal um yeah. like the real beefed up one i did the edit mm-hmm. for that um like not the not the actual youtube video just the intro edit or whatever it was oh yeah yeah so that was fun it was like uh i had the text on it and it was like get ready for the baddest outlander on the youtube or something i can't remember exactly what it mm-hmm. said but i did that one um but dude i i don't know just gonna try and get try and get in a swing of things with flair and mm-hmm. and uh keeping your channel running at the same time dude oh, yeah. the the gaming channels had some bangers dude was, it does have some bangers day. i found a tr- found us i found us a good trend yeah whenever i do the gun reviews inside the game those yeah pop, those dude. always pop dude i'm going to, i'm going to do every gun dude kendall gray is going to become a full-time gaming YouTuber. gamer dude, yeah. forget hunting i'm a big gamer <laughs> <laughs> I, i'll say this i'm i'm extremely surprised 
there's that many people willing to watch one hunting game. Yeah, Hunter Call I of pretty much, I pretty much only play, for the most part, one hunting game. And there's a lot of people that apparently play that game or watch the game one. Do you think all those people play the game? Do you think 200,000 people play the game? I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know. I it's a pretty, it's it's a pretty I, niche game. I think it's the thumbnails. Like, people just see reviewing the 6-5 Creed more and may just click on it before they see it's a game, you know? And then a lot of people, they're like, oh, I thought this was a real video, but I still like it. This is cool. Yeah. I, well, I've had so many of my friends be like, I bought that game because of you. I was like, really? They're like, yeah, I hate it. I'm like, <laughs> it's like, dude, it's like, did you see my first video? I hated the game. I hate every game on my first time playing it. Dude, Fish really? and Planet. Oh, that game's just bad, though. Yeah. We've only been three episodes in. <laughs> Dude, that was... I will say, when we played it together, it was funny. I made a sick montage. We need to play it again. Yeah. Uh, ooh, I don't know. That game's bad. I think we should play Hunter Call of the Wild and go try and kill some more people. Didn't we play... Get did we ever play Call of Duty? No, I don't have Call of Duty. Oh, well, I guess not then. We played Battlefield once, just off camera. Oh, that was yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. We got in, like tanks and stuff. That was sick. Yeah, we was terrible though, wasn't we? Yeah, we were awful. You, I think you did better than me. Oh, I'm a beast at that game. Are you? Can you can you fly the jets? You know what I'm talking no, about? No, like, I can't fly. Okay, okay. It's hard. I, got, dude. I used to fly the helicopters, but yeah. All right. After you get out of college. You just want to be editor full time, pretty much, ain't you? I don't know, dude. Well, I mean, we'll Ooh. see what opportunities come my way. Dream job is honestly being my own YouTuber. Yeah. Chances of that happening are really slim. Um, because I was, you know, I don't have that many subscribers, and mm -hmm. it, it really wasn't much growth. That's why it really doesn't bother me taking a month off to get in the swing of things with Flair. But, yeah. um. I mean that's that's my dream job, dude. I'd I'd wouldn't like to edit my whole life. I mean it's great mm -hmm. and it's it's gotten me in connection with you know a lot of very cool people and you know a lot of my close friends today. Um, mm -hmm. But I would like to do my own thing because I mean I do cool stuff. Like I yeah. go and drive my car. I go and ride my dirt bike. I sometimes very rarely I go hunt. You know, I'd like to go and film it myself and and be have that as my source of income um but it's you know it's very rare for especially nowadays too because i'm definitely on the late side of youtube it's very rare for you know unless you have a you know something crazy happened to you it's very rare to to make that your career so i think there's still time maybe maybe we'll see oh, dude i have a lot of people tell me um when i tell them what i do they're like you're doing all this at 19 years old? And I was mm -hmm. like, I was like, yeah. I mean, what what else would I be doing? <laughs> They're like, just so surprised. I'm like, I, f I feel like I'm like behind. Like, I, I feel like I should be doing more. Yeah, you're like 19, I, right? Yeah, I'm not, I'm turned 20 in March. So, yeah. And I, I don't know. I just feel like I should, I, I just have goals. Like I just, I have more goals than what I'm doing right now. But when I talk to people, they're always like, you're doing so much already. Why worry about it or stress about it? And I'm like, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just my nature. Like I just, I want to do yeah. things. And when I'm not doing them, you know, like making my own YouTube videos, you know, it's not, it doesn't feel good. So. Got that killer mentality. Yes, the dog. But I, yes, oh, but oh. but I also procrastinate way too much. You get gonna, after it. I was gonna Dude, edit one of my videos. To, Sorry, you got to procrastinate, procrastinating. Okay, how do I do that? You put off. You procrastinate. You you can procrastinate tomorrow. Okay. You can work today. Procrastinate later. So I wonder if I have to work today. I wonder if Ben sent me a video. I might. I'm. Hey, I might be editing a video after this podcast. You hey, you know. may have to. <laughs> Dude, I had um I dude, and this this goes back to back to what I was saying earlier. I had I had a kid tell me one time, uh he recognized me and he was like I told him what I was doing and this was this was a couple months ago. So I told him uh -huh. about working with Flair and stuff and he was like, "Dude, you're living the dream life." And I was like, "I'm really not." But like that caught me so off guard 
I was like, I look up to people like, you know, Braden or Flair or you, these big successful YouTubers going and having fun every day. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's work, uh-huh. you know, but I see these people going and having fun all day making videos. And I'm like, that's the dream life. But to that kid I was talking to, my life is his dream life. And it was just kind of crazy to think about. And it kind of put me in perspective, too, of how how lucky I am as well to mm-hmm. have have worked and learned and, you know, be friends with all these all these great people and successful people and gotten to gotten to see how things work. And, you know, it just it just put a lot into perspective, but it was just crazy to hear someone tell me that I'm living a dream life. I don't yeah. know. If, I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but. Uh, it was, I don't talk to many people. No, you don't go outside much. Are you a goblin? <laughs> Dude. Uh. What about filming? Filming what? Like, what if you was on location instead of being remote? Me? Yeah. For who? Like, uh, maybe Flair or something. I think you. Are you asking me why? Lot- It'd be a lot fun, or I'm just saying it'd be. A... Oh, oh, you're saying you're saying like go and film and do all those things. Yeah, you'd be more involved. Yeah, you'd feel like you're well, doing more. Well, you know, I might have done that, but I, I mean, I'm in school. Got to yeah, graduate. Yeah, yeah, I'm already yeah, halfway. Yeah, in college. Yeah. yeah, you're good. Something that's, to think about. That's one of the main reasons too why I didn't work for Braden for a, a long time is because he hired Miller, and mm-hmm. having someone on location is way yeah. depending on who they are. Um, yeah. cause Flair, like, you know, we were talking about this earlier. Flair's had some bad luck with having people on location, but, um, having people on location is so much easier because, and the reason why is because drive, Google drive and Dropbox, their servers are awful. So it will take days to download or upload footage. And I know you have that problem too, cause you're out in the sticks and have, uh, yeah. have doo doo internet. Um, it's even harder for you. Um, Mm -hmm. but when you have four cameras, five cameras, whatever, all running on a 1080 60. Yeah. Whenever, you know, when, whenever you have those gigabytes and terabytes of footage to upload, it takes so long that it's just inconvenient rather than just sticking in your SD card and dragging it to your hard drive. So, yeah. And also having someone on location to film you and to get everything ready. Mm -hmm. That's a lot easier. And that's one of the main reasons why for the longest, I didn't really work for Braden is because it's just, it's more difficult to do someone remote, but luckily Flair was looking for someone remote because of the problems he's had in the past. So Mm -hmm. I kind of got lucky there because, you know, I obviously don't want to move out to Nebraska. North Carolina is one thing because I know a bunch of people there. Yeah. But but moving out to I don't know about moving out to Nebraska. It's cold there. I don't, oh, I don't like it that it cold. Is. I don't like it. Yeah, that you're cold. an Alabama boy. For the people wondering, he's an Alabama boy. It's warm here, dude. It's warm. It's it's like sixty degrees right now. I mean, I know it's starting to get spring, but over dude, it was the craziest thing. Over over winter, one day here, I I swear it was seventy degrees. I was in my shorts, t-shirt. The next day, it was snowing. It was the craziest thing. Like it's it's the most like bipolar state I've ever seen, and it's it makes no sense, dude. But I mean, at least you get those warm days every now and then. I gotta I gotta give out my socials so people know where yeah. to follow me. I, wow, you best bet. There. You best bet. I'm gonna use this podcast as a Do it. as a. All right, my YouTube is my name Ryan Larkins. Yep. Ryan then, Larkins. Yep. My Instagram is Ryan Larkins with three S's at the end. Like Garrett Porter's. I literally copied them. Uh, cause I, cause they, my, the username I wanted, they didn't have. So I just put three S's at the end. So if you just took up my name on Instagram, I'll come up. My YouTube's in there. Go check it out. I post car stuff, dirt bike stuff. And don't then hopefully I'll TikTok. Yep. That's also just my name, Okay. but I don't really post on there anymore. Dude. I hate TikTok. Do you like TikTok? You don't like to I post- like watching it. Yeah, I like watching it too, but what I hate about it is it's so inconsistent. Like Their I'll guidelines. post Is that why? I mean, I'd imagine. Well, I I'll post a video and it'll get like oh, whatever, 
terrible views and they'll post on the next day and it'll get thousands and hundreds of thousands. And it just makes no sense. I don't, I don't understand how TikTok works. Maybe that's why I don't like it. Cause I can understand how YouTube works and, and how, you know, how to be consistent on there, but being consistent on TikTok, it's hard, dude. I don't, I don't know how to do it. So that's yeah, a lot of my maybe. TikToks get just taken down immediately. Your TikToks are funny, dude. I like your so, TikToks. Man, I need to make more, but I don't know. Anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and call it a podcast. Don't forget to follow Ryan, especially on YouTube. And uh, besides that, I guess we'll see you later. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. No problem.